Okay, guys, just a little uh, fun video here. I think it's fun on uh, rational numbers. And a rational number is a number that could be expressed as a fraction. Uh, and all fractions are decimals that terminate or repeat themselves. So that might be confusing. We'll get to that in one second. But what I want to do right now is kind of show off a bit and show you how to do something that might impress your friends and neighbors and parents. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a random number here. I'm going to use these these dice here, and then I'm going to take that number, and I'm going to divide it by 7, and I'm going to write that number down to an infinite number of decimal places. And you can follow along, grab your calculator right now, see, uh, get it out, get your phone, whatever you want, and, and we'll get a number, divide it by 7, and I'll tell you the, all, all the decimals. Okay, so here we go. So let's try this out. And I'm not cheating. I'm not using a calculator myself. You're going to have to trust me on that. So the number is... Six cinco. Okay. So that is the number 65. Okay. So uh, let's figure out what that is. So that is going to be 65 divided by 7 will be 9.28571428 or 5, 7, and blah, blah, blah. Now, let's see if that's right. Let me grab my calculator and see if I have to delete this video and start again or if I can continue. So my trusty calculator is in my hand here. 65 divided by 7 equals, and I get something very similar to that. Mine, mine stops here and rounds to 9. Okay, so how did I get that? How is that all, all possible? Let's, let's start off with what we know. Okay, so any fraction is a decimal that repeats itself or terminates. So for example, if we have 1 divided by 2, we know it's 0 0.5. Terminates. 0 0.5, it's not 0 0.5 anything. But 1 divided by 3, you know that's 0 0.3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, forever, right? 1 third is, is, is a decimal that doesn't terminate. Okay, so it's a non-terminating decimal, but it repeats. So after the first number, actually, after 0 0.3, you can just put a dot there, or sometimes you put a line like that so it repeats itself. If we go to one quarter, another fraction, obviously, 0 0.25. If you have three quarters, 0 0.75. Okay, so anything divided by four can can um, uh, terminate with basically what a, uh, with a quarter, right? Like set money, 25 cents, 50 cents, 25 cents, etc. The fifths, you get 0 0.2. Two fifths is 0 0.4. Okay, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and it repeats. A sixth, the whole sixth thing is a little ugly. Okay, so when you get two sixths, that's the same as one third, and we're good with that, 0 0.3. Uh, one sixth is 0 0.16666 repeating. Okay, two sixths is that, three sixths is a half, four sixths is two thirds, okay, and that's 0 0.6 repeating. Um, five sixths is the other weird one, and it's 0 0.83 repeating. Okay, but you, you notice it, it repeats. Uh, th this guy doesn't terminate, but he, he repeats. Let's skip sevens for a second. One eighth is zero point uh, two. Sorry, two eighths is a quarter, so zero point two five. One eighth is half of that, so zero point one two five. And three eighths is zero point one two five plus that, so zero point three seven five. So this guy doesn't. This guy terminates. Uh, uh, each eighth terminates. Ninths are fun. One ninth is zero point one repeating. Two ninths is zero point two repeating. Guess what 6 9 says? 0 0.6 repeating. 7 9 0 0.7 repeating. 10s are easy. Okay, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. We'll stop at 11s because 11s are kind of fun. 11, 1 over 11 is 0 0.090909 and it'll repeat. And then if I go to 2 11s, sorry, 2 11s, it's 0 0.181818. And to get all these, so if I go to 6 11s, if you can try to guess the pattern here, it would be 0 0.545454. And what you do is you take this number here, subtract 1 from it, so 6 subtract 1 is 5, and then say, okay, these digits here add up to 9. So I have 5, 5 plus what gives me 9? 4. So 0 0.545454. If I had 7 11s, okay, 1 less than 7 is 6. What else, what adds to uh, 9 with 6? 3. So 0 0.636363. So those are the easy ones, or fun ones, and they're a little bit obvious once you see them. But I was looking at, one day I was thinking to myself, okay, what's going on here with the, these sevenths? Okay, the sevenths must repeat because they are a fraction. Okay, so they either terminate or repeat. And what happened was, let me see if I can do something here. 
add another page. What happened was I, I started looking at these numbers and one seventh is 0 0.142857. And then your calculator will cut this off. But if it doesn't, you'll notice that it's 0 0.142857. 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.142857, 142857, 142857, 2857. Okay. And that's cool. And I thought, okay, how do I, how, there's a pattern there. It's a little ugly. But how do you memorize this? And think about this. What I noticed was, well, what's double seven? Double seven is 14. What's double 14? Double 14 is 28. And what's double 28? Well, double 28 is 56. We'll bump that up to 57. So then I sort of, I remembered one seventh is 0 0.142857. But here's where it gets crazy. Two sevenths is 0 0.285714. Two eight five seven one four repeating and repeating so it's the same numbers so you got these digits here one four two eight five seven and then it's the one seven starts with the lowest of these numbers which is a one two seven starts with the, the second lowest of those numbers which is a two and it just keeps going so three sevens we'll start with the th third smallest number so what's the third smallest digit here one four there's or one two so one and two are gone it's the four so three sevens is zero point four two eight five seven one four two eight five seven and repeating 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 and then you keep going okay so six sevenths that's the the biggest number so we'll start with the eight so it'd be point eight five seven one four two eight five seven and keep going and going and going so how did i do that earlier with the 65 well 65 divided by seven you just first you start off and you say okay well seven goes in what's the biggest number that seven goes into well it's nine uh 63 sorry nine times seven times nine is 63 so what i have is 63 sevenths and two sevenths. So 63 sevenths is nine, and now I need to find out what two sevenths is. Two sevenths, I remember it's two is the second number, one, four, two, eight, five, seven, two is the smallest number, the second smallest number, so it's two, eight, five, seven, et cetera, et cetera. Let's practice, ready? Here's here's one for it. Let's try 74. So take a second, 74, it's gonna be 10 point something, and what's left over? Four sevenths. So four sevenths is a little tricky. Four sevenths we haven't done, What's the fourth biggest number? One, two, four, five. Okay, so it's going to start here. So it'll be 0. 0.5714285714. And then if you notice something a little bit different, like for example, if if you stop, if it rounds here, if your calculator stops here, what you're going to notice is the it'll round properly, and you won't see the exact digits here. And if someone says, "Well, my calculator says this," you can just tell them back, tell tell them that your calculator is not as smart as you are, okay? Because you don't need to stop go all your calculator does okay so that's the story of rational numbers and the story of the sevenths hope you enjoyed it